right, I'm gonna try to put everything in one video because I don't wanna, I don't wanna keep, you know, having to upload. As you can see with my Invisalign journey and everything, I'm kind of slacking. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of slacking. So I'm gonna put everything on this video, post op, pre op, uh, what else? Op op. I don't know. But before, during, after. All of that in one video so stay tuned so, I'm here this is me this is fatty <laughs> uh, from fatty to batty pretty soon my measurements are 34 36 43 can you believe that? I'm 5'4. I weigh. Here's my weight 150 plus 46. So, no, 47. So, 197. 5'4, 197. Sheesh. There you go. That's when it's going to be flat. <laughs> this is me. I don't, don't even tell me I need to work out. I could lose this. I've been working out forever and I, you know, I wasn't as big, but I always had a stomach. It's time to get rid of this. It looks like a Cheerio. Look, Cheerio. Bye. So guys, I'm recording on my iPhone. Today is the day of my surgery. I know I sound a little congested. I'm like fighting off a cold, which they said is okay. Well, they're gonna take my temperature and everything, my blood sugar, glucose, all that stuff, see if I'm pregnant. Just before before we get done, like before we start uh, the surgery process. But I was told to take a shower last night and to take another shower this morning with um, an antibacterial soap, such as Dove, not Dove, Dial, sorry, such as Dial. And I just finished getting out the shower. I just dried myself. Uh, yeah. So my appointment is in a few hours, well, in an hour or two. Um, I'm going in at 1.30 to... Uh, I guess get another consultation to uh, to get more information on what to do after the surgery, uh, post-op, my testing, all that stuff. And then uh, at 3 p.m. is my surgery. And I believe it's for two hours. So, yeah. So, I'm just letting you guys know. Freshly out the shower. Getting ready. I'm on my iPhone. So yeah, guys, see. I don't know if you can tell, but I just got marked. And I got my IV. It's my first time ever getting surgery, so this is all new to me. I got my drugs, so now I'm just taking a rest and waiting. Guys, I just, I finished my um, surgery today. I don't know why I'm like so emotional. This is my bed. They told me every two hours I gotta get up. Honestly, I don't even remember the freaking surgery. <laughs> because I remember getting up, meeting my doctor. I have never had surgery before, and I don't ever take pills for anything. I, the only thing I have taken is aspirin, and but I have never taken like Percocets or Molly Percocets. <laughs> but I have never took Percocets and all those other drugs they give me, and I don't like the way it feels. <laughs> like, so they told me to lay down and every two hours to get up. So, um, I don't get any blood clots, so I'm just walking around the house. It's, I would go for a walk right now, but it's raining like hell outside. 
I have my soup. I, I don't even know what my stomach looked like. <laughs> like, but those, the doctor was amazing. While he was getting it done, he was playing a whole bunch of Jay Z songs, and <laughs> it was really comfortable. But um, I kind of fell asleep. Those times when I did feel him pricking me but I took it like a champion but right now I don't know why I'm so emotional I don't even know what I'm crying about like I already know it's supposed to hurt it does hurt like I don't know how to explain it it hurts to a certain point where it feels like you scratched yourself really bad a few times on your stomach you, and like my spine kind of hurts but it's nothing where it's unbearable I'm just an emotional person but just be prepared I wore I know people come in where uh, wore pads I'm padded but I'm also wearing diapers I have no shame I don't want my clothes getting all soaking wet, so I wear diapers, adult diapers. Um, hold on, let me see if I can show you guys. When I'm, <laughs> I'm exhausted. So this is me with my fascia, my fascia, and it's the one with the shorts and the one that goes up to your bra. I'm not wearing a bra. I'm sorry, I can't even show you. Because I'm in so much pain. I'll show you guys tomorrow. I'm sorry, I got a clock out. <laughs> Bye. So, it's still the same night of this happening. This is embarrassing, but it got to do. Let me show you. How do I switch? So this is me in a freaking diaper, adult diaper, because I'm leaking everywhere. I see a difference, but I'm still swollen. I still got like gauze and stuff inside of there, but hopefully the swelling goes down soon. I'm wearing a diaper on top of the fascia. They were surprised. The doctors were surprised that I brought a diaper, but they said it will do. Because under the fascia, there's a hole for your pee. And it works. Every two hours, I gotta walk. See a difference a little bit. Not an extreme difference. Nothing. I'm still swollen, so hopefully everything goes down. Can't believe I really did <laughs> went through with this. I'm not recording on my camera because I don't got time to set everything up. Hopefully tomorrow I'll feel better. And everything will be set up. It's been raining all day. I wish I could go outside and take a walk, but it's been raining all day. But, um, yeah, my socks are soaking. I don't know if, if I stepped in a puddle of water or if it's because of drainage. Because I was so high on drugs that my fiance's mom gave me some steam to inhale to clog up my sinuses which helped but I was sleeping with the cup in my hand and finally I let go of the cup I'm like an asshole <laughs> but guys this is me yeah stay tuned hi guys so it's 5 a.m. and this guy is taking a shower 
so I'm just walking while he's doing that just walking around because you're supposed to walk around while uh, while um, recovering or healing so that's what I'm doing